What do you enjoy doing in your free time? A number of things. Um, looking over my life, there are different times that I enjoy. As a younger person, I used to enjoy playing some cricket. A little bit of table tennis. Wasn't a professional by no means at any one of these things. Like to play Scrabble also, even though I never actually master it, but I did have a little fun playing with those things in my younger years. What do you enjoy doing now? Now, I enjoy looking over what I used to do. <laughs> <laughs> Can you recall a defining moment that led you to answering the call to pastor? I cannot specifically give you a defining moment. I would probably be able to give you instances that God literally impact my life to do something for his kingdom. So the call for me was not specific as in saying I was called to be an evangelist or a pastor or a missionary or a apostle or a bishop. I received no such call. My call, looking back over the years of ministry is just to serve and what that has translated to is i've been able to serve in many important areas of the ministry of god's ministry if i put it this way so it seemed to me like when god calls someone to serve the specific area of service is god's prerogative He's the one who assigned you to what he wants you to do. And I have watched him through the years assign me to different things that I didn't even think I could do. I was prepared or trained to do. So um, we could discuss a little bit more about that at some point, but um, very interesting question. What is one advice you would give to your younger self? No, that take some deep thinking because there are some things that you did in your younger years that you would not want to repeat and there are things that you definitely would like to continue doing. One thing I would tell my younger self at this age, spend a little more quality time with your immediate family and the people you love. What is your favorite quote or scripture? I have many favorite scriptures. A matter of fact, the entire Bible is my favorite. But in particular, the scriptures that speaks to the will of the Lord seem to have greater influence on my life. I'm particularly moved by Matthew chapter 6 where Jesus gave the model prayer and in that model prayer he literally challenged us how to pray when you pray you should say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come and I love the portion say thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. I, I use that constantly in my life. Want the will of God in earth as it is in heaven. How many years have you been pastoring? If I am going to be specific, I would have to do a research. But from my personal recollection it is in excess of 53 years 
accumulatively. When all is said and done, what do you want to be remembered for? I have made an attempt to serve God and his people. That's the challenge. That's what keep me up every moment of the day. That's what I want to do. I want to serve God and serve his people. That's it. What do you enjoy most about pastoring? Number one, I enjoy, first of all, doing the will of the Lord. And I do have a passion to serve. I enjoy serving. I enjoy serving people and watching people grow. So serving, 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 serving. If you were not a pastor, what other path would you have followed? Well, if looking over my life as a young person, I was very impressed during my school years with the subject of civics, which leads to kind of public service for one thing and uh, politics. So you probably would have to be trained in that area. I don't see myself qualified to be a politician, but you, it seemed like anything in that field probably would be something that I would consider.